We are in very critical times. A time when some people have taken it upon themselves to inflict pain. to draw out tears from the eyes of other people, to make husbands widowers, to make wives widows, to make parents childless, to make children orphans. to snatch away breadwinners from all families. These are times that when you go out, you are not sure that you are coming back home. <clears throat> Some men have arrogated to themselves the power of life and death. That they decide who die and they decide who live. They think they have the monopoly to kill. And no other person can kill them. Mm -hmm. This is not the time to apportion blames. Hey, Buari. Hey, Army. Hey, Police. Hey, Air Force. It's not the time to apportion blame. It's the time to take our destiny in our hands. It's the time to take our destiny in our hands and stand up. Is the time to call on Buari that we are ready. That's why we are volunteers. That's why this house is called Volunteers. Is the time you have come from all towns and villages of the John Nation. You have come from other places. We even have Hausa people here. You are blaming Buari will not solve the problem. Your daughter is traveling to Kaduna. She is stolen in the train. For months they keep her and rape her. They flog her on live television. Your mother is traveling to see her son walking in Kano. She is stolen and she is flogged. And they ask you to bring money. You don't have the money. So it is not about Buari now. It is not about the army now. It is not about the Air Force now. It is not about the DSS now. It is about all. Nobody is safe again. We are going to tell those people that they do not have the monopoly of uh, killing people. 
That in this killing business, we are professional. In this killing business, we are professional. In every house that they have put in tears, we are going to wipe out their tears. In every house that they are put in grief, we are going to bring comfort to them and consolation. We cannot continue to sit on the sidelines and say, oh, it's Buhari. When good luck was there, Buhari was talking. When this one was there, good luck is no longer there. The life of good luck is not safe. The life of Buhari is not safe. They came out openly to say they will steal Buhari. They came out openly to say they are going to steal Erufai. You people know that I don't like that trend. But now it's not about Erufai. It's not about Buhari. It's about every one of us. Even here, on our road, they are stealing people. It's not the army. Mm -hmm. The army man have a father. He has a mother. So is you. You have a wife. You have a mother. You have a father. You have a sister. So when you keep on pointing at the army man and refusing to hurt, refusing to do something, then your day will come on. You will not know the day they will steal you. They want to dignify you. They say it's kidnap. Oh, furu. Itombo furu e. Amenopu bekimbi kambi oswa. Kidnapping. Kid. In the book, kid, you can't be so about Kabato and Anna Yerum. Oh, Furu, they are stealing the book. If you have volunteered here, that you are going to meet them, raise your hand. Abuja in Baliti, Abuja You have been here, some of you have been here for one week, some have been here for two weeks from different communities. You are here for one thing, that the destiny of our people lies in our hands. Our own destiny lies in our hands. We have to go out there and look for them wherever they are. We told those other people that we are going to look for them. They were boasting on social media. 
Now, what is this cause? What is this cause? You go to your place. Say you are fighting for freedom. You start killing your people. You start praying on your people. You take the people, you cut them. Look at the way they cut the private part of that soldier woman. She was still alive. Those people, we don't catch them. Those people, we don't catch them. Now we catch them. Those people where they caught that woman private part, now we catch them. This is a warning to anybody who is doing that. Wherever we, you are, we will catch you. We will not wait for anybody. We will look for you and... Uh, I mean, I'm so a passenger put me in prison in 2005. I stayed there 22 months, 10 days. 22 months, 10 days. Underground and different detention center. Since I came out, I told myself, if any German come to look for my trouble to fight me, I will run. I will not contribute to fight any German. If any Niger Delta man come to fight me, I will run. I have nothing to prove to anybody. I've already proven who I am. I've already proven who I am. Oh, you boy, the master, oh, you boy, why you Ginebia? Oh, you boy, the master, oh, you boy, why you Ginebia? Oh, you got it, oh, you got it. 
Ai, 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 ai,